Hello, my name is Brent Frayne. I'm the host for Canadians with Disabilities and Their Allies, also known as PWD Allies Podcast. And you can actually you tune in and watch the uh, the episodes on Neo's website and uh, check out the um, the podcast on your favorite app. That's uh, one of my new, uh, new intros here. I'm going to probably fine tune it a bit on the talking points, but... Uh, yeah, it's just a new little launching uh, thing that I'm that we're doing now. So, and, and we should say the reason why the reason why I've changed it to I've changed the titling to uh, PW Allies Podcast instead is because it's easier to read. Because uh, our title before was so long that mm-hmm. by that by the time you got to the by the time you got to the guest, it would be like dot dot dot. Yeah. So, so yeah. It, would, it would be you know Canadians and their allies, you know. Uh, dot 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 and i was like oh man so i, I thought if we shorten it up it'll, it's easier to read and uh it's easier to search and and uh, i agree yeah so that, that's uh, yeah. so i went through all 45 episodes they shortened them up and even even those that have like two guests i'll probably just pick one like i, I did that on a couple of them i just pick one guest and that mm-hmm. uh, because the the, the a second guess will be in the description anyway, but I'm just trying to shorten up the description so it's easy to, easy to read for everyone and easier to search. Yeah, uh, and you know, it keeps things entertaining for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, and speak about entertaining, uh, today I you know, my special guest I have on is uh, Bryce uh, Schaffenberger. And uh, yeah, yeah, Bryce maybe will uh, maybe pronounce his name. Um, Schaffelberger. Shuffleburger. 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 Yeah. You want a, you want a sh- yeah. Shuffleburger. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you got it. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, so it's a great having, having you join uh, today. Uh, and, you know, Bryce, it's um, with, uh, with that, it's uh, Bryce is actually from the Self Advocate Net. Uh, and Bryce and I have actually communicated uh, on Twitter. Wow. I mean, it's been years, hasn't it? I mean, mm-hmm. it's like we've just kind of crossed paths back yes. and forth. Kind of the whole. Neo and I did too, mm-hmm. really, but we really didn't really yeah. uh, communicate directly uh, until a couple of years ago. Now, yeah, it's always wonderful to have you on. You're welcome. Yeah. So, how are you? I'm doing great. Just you know, um, a little cloudy out, but it's you know, <laughs> At least the smoke's going to dissipate. Yeah. 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 Air quality has been really poor um, yes. across the whole south coast of British Columbia. Um, they one people watching from back uh, east uh, or around the world. I mean, British Columbia, we mm. don't normally get um, extended periods of time no, where like air this. quality is so mm. diminished down. And I'm on uh, Vancouver Island in Victoria, and wow, I mean, the air quality really affected them pretty bad out here mm. uh, for a while. I mean, it didn't get up to 10 plus, but we, we got mm. up there about uh, I think six or seven there for a while, and then it went down to five, uh, you know, on the radio, yeah. the water. But out in the Eastern Valley, it's at 10 plus right now. Yes, it's it is. You can see it. <laughs> then we, then we got a wicked thunderstorm yesterday, and Mother Nature saying, "Ah, we're not done with you yet." Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, getting um, getting to the uh, the uh, advocacy here. part yeah. here, um, it's um, so interesting on how um, different advocacy can have a play in people's lives. On um, like from I guess from a individual's point of view to. Uh, to the uh, to a government. Um, they're coming uh, to get you, Brent. They're coming. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're really close to the road here. So get a lot of action. There's a drum roll. <laughs> Ambulances and fire trucks and police cars and well, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, different roles of like how uh, that plays into uh, people's lives on how it affects um, their lived experience on what governments, um, their policies, right, and how advocacy works on from individual level like I was mentioning on but also from a from a um, an MLA or an MPP or um, you know or an MP or even from a municipal level how a lot of these things are intertwined on how they affect people's lives and mm-hmm. how that advocacy how the politicians will will advocate toward seeing change and how people will advocate people with disabilities or their allies or people that know the allies that that really don't want to stay quite connected, but they still want to get involved because they have people in their lives that it affects, and and so having uh, people advocating for whatever the cause may be is it, is it financial uh, security, which 
I, you know, it affects so many. I mean, so that's a, that's a no-brainer uh, right. right there because they really have to change the policies on that. Um, is it about accessibility? Is it about our housing crisis? Is it about um, having the right type of homes that are built that are accessible for uh, people with disabilities or seniors, uh, low-income individuals, uh, you name it. Uh, everybody needs housing. Yeah. Um, well, one, housing. One, one of the things that we should mention, though, too, and I've, we've mentioned this before, at least I have, is, um, you know, you can go through your whole life with a disability like like I have. And, you know, everything's hunky dory. Like, you know, I've been disabled my whole life. Not, n no issues like it, everything's fine. Yeah, like I've been I was born with it. I'm, I'm used to it. No problem. And it's not until you hit a roadblock. You're like, wow, this exists. Like in my case, you know, the, the clawbacks. Right. I mean, you know, I've been fighting it for 10 years, but I mean, it wasn't an issue for me until like 10, 10 years ago. Like, you know, like it was a new thing. Like, you know, I was thinking to myself, like the provincial government actually does this. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I, I was naive. I was I was stupid when it comes to that stuff. I didn't I didn't know that that stuff exists. And I think there's a lot of people out there that until you experience it. I mean, I've experienced my disability my whole life. Yeah, right. But but I can I, you can go through your whole life with a disability and not actually come across an advocacy issue until you hit that roadblock and go, wow, this actually exists. This is a problem. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that thing that's important to, to say, there's lots of people out there with a disability. But, you know, maybe maybe a lot of them don't have problems. Like for me, I didn't have a problem for many, many, many like decades almost. <laughs> You I know? can explain. I can explain the two differences between advocacy and self advocacy. There's yes. self advocacy is the individual that is advocating for themselves and with their peers. The other one is advocacy is with um, their family members mm -hmm. and having kids with them. There's two differences. They're there. They're there looking after a son or daughter, or whatever. They're in a relative that has a disability, like like people like us. Like we're out. We're out advocating for ourselves to help ourselves and help our friends like what are in um, mm -hmm. the same situation that are individuals. They don't live with the parents. They're living on their own. They're um, trying to navigate a service mm -hmm. and, and then yeah. trying to get jobs to be aware of how to accommodate, you know, all these kind of things. That's mm -hmm. there's two differences there. So it's yeah. that's you know, on those things. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, and and, and uh, you know, kind of intertwining, um, yeah. you know, the those two differences, yeah. so that um, all the different their needs are all met. Um, you know, is it is it is it college? Is it is it employment? Is it housing? Is it accessibility? Is it getting around in your local community, being able to get to um, like some businesses, like a grocery store or a clothing store? You know, it is, uh, do you have a, a ramp to get you up on a mobile device up there um, yeah. by pressing a, the button on the door? Does it open automatically or do you have to mm -hmm. somehow open the door with your hand? Well, you know, that's to me, that that's a huge barrier. They don't, businesses don't have that on their door no. because it must be reachable, um, especially if you're in a, um, in a mobile device like, like yeah. Neil. Um, you know, it, it has to be level so that you can actually press it. Yeah. Um, at, at arms length, arms level. Yes, yeah. yes. And there's yeah. lo there's lots of people that uh, that can't or just don't advocate for themselves because they don't know how. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that that's why it's important to have podcasts like this and organizations like selfadvocacy.net so that you know you have people that are willing to step up and say you know I'll do I'll do the heavy lif lifting for you and let's let's figure this out um, mm -hmm. because. You know, another thing too is like uh, you can have something to kind of cloud your ju your judgment, where you're only like focused on one thing. Like if I wanted to, I could be so laser focused on clawbacks, and that's all. You know, some people say I'm guilty of that, maybe. <laughs> but but in my defense, like uh, you know, like I I spent like six or seven years with the uh, Disability Foundation. You know, you know Sam Sullivan. Yeah, he has he has a Disability yes. Foundation. I worked there for six or seven years and this was at the time that I was going through all the clawback stuff and I was still advocating hard for people to, to help them find jobs. So I was able to wear those two hats or however many hats I needed to wear 
uh, because I, I can see there's still like a lot of good things that the government does. Like I, yeah. I'm not, I'm not blind to that. I don't, I, I don't say, you know, the government sucks and, and, you know, right. just, say, just say everything the government does sucks because of course they, they do a lot of really good things. Yeah. And, and, yeah. you know, yeah, the, 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 um, the Sam Sullivan Foundation and, and work we did there is, is proof positive of that. We did, we did a lot of really good things. Um, so there, there again, like, I'm separating my own advocacy yep. issues and compartmentalizing that and saying, mm -hmm. you know, th these are my issues, but I can still, you know, go right. outside side of myself and advocate for other people too, right? Yeah. And keep them a separate thing. Mm -hmm. And and not all government sucks. <laughs> it's just, no. just just one or two things that I have an issue with, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I apologize to, to the listeners and the viewers that they hear a bunch of sirens in the uh, in the uh, on the show here. Um, <laughs> there must be some I kind know. of going on within the city of Victoria. Uh, this doesn't normally happen that way, but it's uh, like, you know, this is like an episode of Hill Street Blues. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or, or one of those uh, break, breaking with Brent segments, right? It yeah. all blended into one. Uh, but it, 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 it is so important, though, uh, of like you're looking at like policies that the government has implemented in. And one thing I've learned over the time, and I'm still learning. Like I learned from my guests, I learned from uh, talking with other advocates around too. And it's all a lot of things are policy driven, and yeah. um, and it's about educating the the politicians. Um, and I I learned this from a meeting last night that I went to, um, and it's that it's. Teaching the uh, the the MPs or the MLAs, uh, whoever it is, the leaders, it's about letting them know what what is what needs to be changed, and they're there to represent. Well, they're supposed to be there to represent our best interests, right? And telling them what what is not working, what is working, what needs to be changed. So, and we hope, you know, we hope, um, you know, as advocates that that uh, these changes that that we now. It's not just based on lived experience for sure, but it's also how it affects your life. Um, and it's all intertwined that way. So their decision making can really have a huge impact in a, in a good way or in a very negative way, as we know about like, clawbacks or, or income, uh, you know, inequality. Um, so, you know, I, yeah. I so, you know the, so, you know, the issue about shelter, you know, that recent 375 and then yeah. increased to 500 mm -hmm. in BC and um there has been some challenges with that because you know if you yes. heard of disability alliance they they found some landlords were cheating it before it even came into effect mm. uh, they they they've uh, rent they increased the rent before it even came into effect oh, oh. And, um mm. so we don't know if, if, if they ever been talking to whoever took the money for it because it wasn't supposed to happen till august 1st Mm -hmm. and then right yeah and yeah. that's um very very unfortunate that there are some uh some scrupulous mm -hmm. landlords out there that will you know yeah. try to uh try to gauge the system uh to mm -hmm. their advantage and there, there's good landlords out there too uh, but there's mm -hmm. uh there's ones that will try to take advantage of it but yeah. here's the uh i mean i want to maybe your your mm -hmm. view on this too Bryce. Yeah. is um you know with as we all know like the uh the 375 shelter, as the government calls shelter, mm. I, I want to see the shelter completely gone. Like yeah, it's just, I, I do too. Have, yeah. Obviously, after what's happening. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I mean, and you just give everybody like a, they, not even the word support. You they get a brand new name and they just call it I don't know, uh, uh, PWD. Um, Here, um, here's and, an, and, here's here's an idea. Oh. I was going to say, why don't they go back and call it a pension? Yeah, yeah pension. Yeah, because yeah, 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 that, that's what that's what it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. then they started to think, well, maybe mm. we can, uh, maybe mm. we can discredit or dishonor it and call yeah. it, but, you know, call it welfare. Mm. Yeah, well, because mm. for like sixteen years, I mean, as we know, like, it was April first, and I, you know, I was advocating with us for years. I mean, and uh, every every uh, every month, I take it by one more month, one more month, yeah. and then on the anniversary, April first. I say, well, this is no April Fool's joke, right? I mean, people go, yeah. are you kidding me? I mean, they haven't changed it. And so 16 years, and then then all of a sudden, oh, well, it's $125. Well, everyone's like, mm -hmm. well, yay. Then all of a sudden, as soon as the news came out, I just saw people piling in, well, wait a minute. Well, no, we're not going to get that. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, yeah. wait a minute. Sure you will. And and I was I was naive because at first, yeah. because I thought, well, 
they're going to make sure everybody's going to get this. Yeah. Well, then I get a letter and it says, and it, it kind of, it was really wasn't really straightforward. It's like kind mm. of like, well, this is this is mm. this. And I thought, okay, so. It's almost like so sometimes they have uh, letter writers in the government that, that have taken like old school, like Chaucer or something, yeah. you know, where, where everything's like kind of embedded and backwards. <laughs> Well, like, it was it was basically saying like if your rent hasn't increased, and then whose rent wouldn't increase in in yeah. uh, in market housing? Mm-hmm. But if your rent say it say it stayed at three seventy five, well then you will not get an increase. Even if it went to three hundred seventy six dollars, yeah. well okay, so they're going to give you that one little that one little bit. But if it was mm-hmm. substantial, you're going to get the full amount. But if it didn't even go up, then no, you don't get an increase. So the ones that don't have a permanent address. Yeah. That's the part that bothered me. So if you don't have a permanent address, but you are still paying right. rent to a landlord because maybe yeah. you can't afford that high market rent, which most people mm-hmm. can't. Even doctors and nurses can't even afford yeah. the high market rent. Um, imagine PWD. So if they have a, a temporary address, according to the government, you don't get that. You don't get your no. full three seventy five or now five hundred. But mm-hmm. and the, yeah. and and the reason why they get away with uh, stuff like that is because there's still that language out there. Uh, where they where they say uh, income of last resort, I mean right. that's, that's why that's why they have the clawback still, and that's why, like you said, that you know not everybody that had unless you have a permanent address, you don't get the, the increase either. It's because everything is is still in that kind of charity mode of like, well, we're giving you charity, and it's income of last resort. It's not a pension. No. It should be a pension, but it's not a pension. It's it's charity. It's income of last resort, and and just live with it, right? Yeah. Do you remember the time where um, Bryce that uh, that the ministry had they had two separate offices? It wasn't for yeah. too many years either. Yeah, it I was, remember. It. I think it was I like for a, a, only a year or two. Well, not only that, they used to they used to go into places even for the marriage problem. They had, they mm. walked they had gone into houses before and check up on them if they're in separate rooms. There's many things they oh, used wow. to way back in the day. And mm-hmm. well, that's so that they know it because the asset problem mm-hmm. right together they want to keep it if, if they're married they want to you want to see if them in separate beds go figure right oh, they wow. still have that problem yeah. there's there's still a, there's still a mess with it even though they said they corrected it but there's many that, that you know of are not um corrected because there's still there's still some get cut off because of the mm-hmm. The way it's the way it's worded now, it's like it's really more complicated. But autonomy is such a huge, huge thing. Like yeah. I, I, I yeah. that's one area where I, I wish the government would really wake up on. Like yeah. I, mm-hmm. again, I'm not, I'm not going to be, yeah. you know, I, I can, I can wear my multiple hats and say again, I can say the government does good things. But one thing I really think they really dropped the ball on is autonomy. Because yeah. if you don't, yeah, if you sure. don't have autonomy, where you say that my life as a disabled person is as valuable as um, mm-hmm. my spouse yeah. and yeah. and that you know th- there's that bible verse that uh, you know two shall become one i mean <laughs> you know <laughs> but that's a bible verse but in mm-hmm. you know it's it's different when you're when you're talking about yeah. finances that you, you still want to have that autonomy yeah. of of mm-hmm. me being my own person mm-hmm. yeah. sep- separate from my wife where she doesn't have to feel that burden of like, yeah. you know, I have to be the one uh, supporting um, supporting uh, my husband. In fact, to be totally totally honest, like I'm I'm actually the one supporting her more <laughs> more mm-hmm. than she's supporting me mm-hmm. because uh, like any money that she makes, it's it's going all it's going to the Philippines. Oh wow! You know? mm-hmm. So like she's. She doesn't. It's not like she's pocketing a bunch of money either. She, um, she, she, she sends it all to the Philippines. So I'm the one that's paying all the bills. Mm-hmm. You know, and then and, that ninety day, then that ninety day trip too. If you go out of country, oh yeah, you, yeah. oh yeah. You know, like it's like yeah. like Brent always says, the bathroom yeah. pass. You know, like yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah. can I go yeah. use the bathroom? You know, kind of thing. Yeah. And I, I remember saying to a worker, um, and she re- before she retired, you know, I, I say to her. Um, yeah, because my mom, was, she wanted to go on a trip, and she wanted to go back and uh, see a friend of the family. Um, and I used to babysit her kid, uh, and, and he had moved, and now he's all grown up, and he lives in Alberta now, but he moved to uh, Prince Edward Island at the time. Oh. And so 
a friend of the family. She still lives out there. Um, and um, yeah, if I ever want to go up to visit, and I, I know where I can stay. Like, I'm welcome to come to stay yeah. there. And I mean, it was nice, but <laughs> she lived in the rural area. She lived in, she had a cottage and stuff. Mm. So she lived way all the way. So if I want to go into town, I had to go and get a ride, so I stayed with her brother. <laughs> that was huh. that was nice. Uh, he lived right in the town, I so imagine. yeah. And now to me, I'd rather stay in the town. Like I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy visiting with her. But so long story short, on that is that um, so my mom, she she had uh, she actually had the same worker because mm -hmm. uh, she was actually on old age pension, and so the workers actually were handling the the same OAS and GIS, and mm -hmm. so they would say. Uh, Okay, so you want to go? Okay, and she goes. Well, can my son uh, come along? Why are you? Why? Why are you telling me that? I mean, you want to go? Go. And I said, Well, do I need permission? Because accordingly, from what I was reading, I need to ask permission. She goes. My mom said to me at the time, right in front of the worker, it's like Brent. Remember, I used to say, Do you need to go and use the washroom? Go and use the washroom. Remember what your teacher used to tell you? Just go, Brent. Go. And I said, Okay. Well, can I go? And the worker goes, I don't know. Can you? Are you are you oh, able wow. to travel, Brent? I go, yeah. She goes, well, then go. I, she goes, yeah. And that's just she said it was the mindset of the government policy, and she even admitted that that needed to change. And mm. there's just no political will of them wanting yeah. to change it. It's like saying, are you have you been incarcerated in the last thirty days? Fill out that form, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's so up. there's so many Thanks, little Brent. things they could do, like the the incarceration thing. Oh my god, emptying your pockets, the yeah. standing yeah. out in line for yeah. two yeah. hours in the snow. Yeah. That you know, oh, yeah. like, I mean, did, uh, did, yeah, I mean, all those like little things add up, right? It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's all those little things show that you, that you don't care, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, like I've, like I've shared before, like, uh, when my wife passed, when my first wife passed away, like, mm -hmm. there's a mm -hmm. lot of stuff that was going on and I gave them all this information and I've told you, like, I gave them two very detailed letters and they're like, whoops, we we lost your letter, and it, and, and it's like, and they lost both of them, wow. and, oh. and, and 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 then like like I said, they gave me wrong information multiple times, wow. you know, and and mm. they said, oh, we're we're only going to suspend your, uh, we're we're just going to suspend your, um, your mm. benefits for uh, yeah. just like two or three months, and it went on for like five or six, and they're like, now you have to re totally reapply like a brand new so oh. i was getting like shafted big time I, and like i said it, it's at the time of your life when it's like you know shit's shit's hitting the fan yeah. and mm -hmm. like the last thing you want to do is try to babysit you know <laughs> mi ministry yeah. workers like i don't want to babysit them and tell them how to do their job they, they no, should no, they should know how to do their job like i don't want to stress about that because oh. i'm already dealing with a huge stress in my life like figure it out. Like don't lose my yeah. papers. Don't tell me I have. Don't tell me they they can restart my thing when they have to. When I really have to uh, yeah. reapply well, well, and all this kind of stuff. Well, here's <laughs> another thing too. Uh, is um, you would know remember this brace. Um, I think it was around was it 2002. You could maybe refresh my memory. I think it was around 2002 2003. Um, the government at the time, they. Uh, they went. They were trying to go through a process of, of uh, getting people, uh, people with disabilities, reassessed. That was oh, Gordon. Yeah. Uh, Gordon Campbell. I think. I think it was around. That was, that was Gordon was Campbell that did that. Yeah. We can, th we can think. We can think. Gordon Campbell. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Two thousand and three. It was actually, and um, I remember that year because my doctor actually was retiring um, shortly mm -hmm. after that. I think. Um, I think he had a nervous breakdown. I, I kind of, oops, sorry, Doc, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you a nervous breakdown because <laughs> uh, he had diagnosed me originally many years before. Mm. And uh, so now all of a sudden I get a letter in the mail um, saying that my, my check is not there. Mm. Uh, it's like, what? And it, was, and it was on check day. I'm like, <laughs> what is this? And I said, yeah, um, you need to come to the office. I'm like, why? Okay. And here's the problem. There was a bus strike around the same time. Yeah. So... I guess I couldn't even get down. Um, I had to take a um, special handy dart, which technically you're supposed to book in advance if you have a medical appointment. Well, I was able to take it down. I used to just take conventional buses, so That's what I hadn't about even. Here. And I hadn't mm -hmm. even taken this thing. I'm like, well, how does this work? Mm -hmm. I had the card for it, so mm -hmm. I got on it. I had to go. It took me like two and a half hours, which normally it should have only taken like 
42 minutes to get to my doctor's office wow. and they dropped me off huh. and then I had to wait and then go in there and then and then to find out that um, hey uh, yeah we're holding your check because um, you need to get reassessed what by what <laughs> I said my disability didn't go away um, yeah well we need your doctor to basically prove that we don't so, trust your doctor yeah, so my doctor had to go and um, oh man the language my my poor ears at the time I was I was told to leave the office while he went through some uh, the information Damon paid for me to go and have lunch next door uh, and wow. I didn't really want to eat next door I was at a McDonald's so I I really I said please don't <laughs> you know but anyway it's fine um, I came back I came yeah well what happened was I came uh, I came back and basically the doctor said um, he was on the phone. And he mm -hmm. said, uh, I hope that you guys have good lawyers because I've got a good lawyer too. Yeah. Um, long story short was I had two ladies showing up at my door and uh, three days later, and of course, but three months, Brace had gone by. Three months I had oh, gone wow. without a check until, okay. yeah, the government had to go through and, and uh, look through the, uh, the information. Yeah. And um, they actually had to retroactive it back to me. But oh, in the meantime... Wow where I was living was it was put my uh, my roommates um, her, her brother-in-law and 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 her and her husband mm. had basically put them in a financial uh, bad spot and I didn't know that until about uh, about two months out of not having a check so I had no money like I had no access to no money my mom felt bad she was a pensioner and I didn't even live with, with my mom anymore I had moved out because um, as much as I loved her I mean her and I did we just couldn't you know you know, I, I mean, I got along with her more than when I wasn't living with her. And uh, mm -hmm. so the other time she would give me $20, uh, 20 bucks or 25 bucks. And then the ministry would say, oh, I, I, you know, I said, well, how do I report this? You guys are not giving me a check. Oh, well, if you're getting contributions, we knew that. I said, she's a pensioner. I said, you guys are not even giving me my money. So mm -hmm. anyway, I had to fight with them on that. I just told them to go to hell, <laughs> really. Wow. Like, it was, in so many words, they backed, they backed off. They just said, I said, like, I want my, my income back. Like, my disability doesn't go away. So, anyway, I got two ladies show up at my door, mm -hmm. and they said, here, um, we're pleased to let you know that, it, you know, you've now been reinstated. Mm -hmm. So, it put me through a lot of PTSD at the time. Uh, my, doc, my doctor, he says, your disability doesn't go away, Brent. Mm -hmm. Why am I going through all this again? Like, I don't have time. I'm a surgeon. I'm a, I got my own office, my own business here. And like, you know, he's a surgeon who do operations at the hospital, too. I'm like, I'm like wow. And so I'm a busy guy. And he goes, how many other doctors having to go through this with people? And um, when, there was another. When the, when the two women came to your door, did they have a yeah. welcome to the neighborhood meatloaf? Yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought maybe they would have a gift certificate to say names <laughs> or yeah, something, right? You know, and they felt bad. They they were mm. just messengers. Uh, they felt yeah. extremely bad. Yeah. Um they actually had a, a, a check with them for with for me to cash, mm -hmm. uh, and it was retroactive back, plus an extra five hundred dollars at the time. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, and when I when I had she had, I didn't know too much of uh, you know what was going on with all this stuff. And I'm like Ray West, well, who is the finance minister? Like who's in charge of all that? And now I know. And I mean, and I guess going forward with advocacy is. As long as the government realizes, like, yeah, like what you did to disabled people back then, don't do it going forward. Like, mm -hmm. never reassess a person with a disability once they're disabled. It doesn't go my, away. You're going to get more disabilities in life. Yeah, my experience is when I, like, have gone because I got, I tell you my whole story. My my um, yeah. I have like Aspergers, and uh, you know when, when you're you're focused on something, mm -hmm. and you think like there's things that you feel like you sense there's something going to happen yeah and you, know, and you know when you you fight and fight for the longest time i i like i've done it i had lots of people told me how, how all this worked way back in the day it was like i have a mission self advocacy group i run there too and i did um it was all handed to me and i was like what am i getting into and then i went and then from further and then I saw a lady is like walking down the street, she was in a wheelchair and she almost fell down and then, and then nobody was around. It's like, and then I thought, it's like, what can I do about this? And then I went, so then I went 
to find out different places who I can talk to and stuff like this. And you always, you always got that, that, uh, push off, like mm. back up mm. and you, always, oh. and then, and then you want to get, then you just got to keep at them until they realize well, this lady here is in trouble. Can you help? And then it's just, mm. you felt, you felt a passion oh. it, and mm. then it just started ball of wax after that. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, is that, you know, you see people and, um, you know, they need help mm. like that and like, like different mm. government things, like uh, uh, reasons you why it. they do certain yeah. things. And, um, like kind of uh, just to kind of conclude, like where I left off on that is mm. um, what I didn't realize the impact of government's policies yes. uh, just to save money. And I, I did research on it, the reason mm. why they mm. did this. And there was a report that was done up and the government wanted to find ways to cross cross-platform ministries it wasn't just mm -hmm. ministry of social services back there and what it was called yeah now it was across ministries as they wanted to cut 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 mm -hmm. where can we find ways of seeing if we can uh, do a cost-cutting me measure it was a big uh, slash and burn i mean i i was it was i was working it, for um for the minister uh for uh bc government at the time mm -hmm. um oh then you're probably aware of that 23 percent cut to services and oh yeah, what, like like then, ev yeah, everybody things. everybody in my office. Uh, yeah. I was in the uh, highways office in in New West, yeah. and our mm -hmm. whole office, save for like two or three people, our whole office yeah. was was shut down except for like I think where they left like two wow. or three other p people there. That was it. Mm -hmm. And every like one after another, it was called into the called into the office. You're fired, and it was like another one. You're fired. Another one. Yeah, fired, and it was like a That's whole line. A of and and my my boss, she was in tears, like absolute tears, mm -hmm. and and there was another um, higher up that was with her to make sure that she was doing it properly, right? And yeah. and I remember, I think I've shared this story before because it's funny, right? Um, yeah. Where. I was called in the office, and of course I know it's. I'm gonna like that's it. You're fired, kind of thing. So I know I know it's coming, right? And and like I, I looked at her face, and her face was just pale. She was crying. Yeah. And oh, wow. and 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 then uh, you know there was the, the two seats. She was sitting in a, in a seat, and and the other woman that was overseeing everything was sitting in a seat. And anyway, my boss says, "Oh, uh, come in, Neil. Have a seat." And I look around. There's there's no empty seat. So I said. Can I oh. sit in your Can I sit in your lap then? And then she start she starts <laughs> laughing like she says, "This is the first smile and laugh I've had today," <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. But then you know, at the, at the end, it's just like you're fired, unfortunately. But I mean, it was just one of those things that kind of lightened the mood because she was like her whole face is just yeah. like this. So when you so when you deal with it, so when you deal with an issue like this, like you, like you got it. It's kind of like you um. You have to watch what how you say it to them, and you gotta you kind of be have to be really uh, uh, wordsmith, and sometimes, and then you got there's sometimes you got to go in there and get your facts. You got to tell them, I'm at, we're, we see lots of this. Can you can you uh, look at this just a little bit mm. like steps to get to to what you're you're asking for? Like I, and then it's like you have to slow it down yourself because sometimes it. There's so many things flying right at you. Yeah. And yeah. Issues and we can't and we and you got to tackle one thing at a time and then yeah because mm. overwhelms a lot of people you're trying to have a keep with. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You have to kind of stay like a, a certain mm. certain pathway. Fine line. What yeah. you're kind of saying mm. is uh, so that that narrative keeps going and then mm. and then once you've accomplished that and then yeah. focus on other things. Yeah. And it kind of go with what what Neil mentioned. It's about all mm. oh, you know. Oh, you're fired. You're fired. Yeah, and I remember. I remember the time when I went to ministries. Like, oh, and I go, where, where is? And I got to know who the receptionists were at the time. And oh, mm -hmm. where is so and so? Oh, she doesn't work here anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, there was so many of them that got let go. Mm -hmm. And so when I, I finally, I, I went to the bank and I had this huge check. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't had money in three months, right? I'm going. Well, it almost seemed like yay. Well, now I knew that I had to give this now to my landlord at the time, mm -hmm. which you know. When I didn't realize that their mortgage, they they had to make mortgage payments, so mm -hmm. it really put a strain on them. And, and the the lady, she was on mat leave, and she was a she was a nurse, so she was on. And so her husband was the one needing to keep uh, up the payments. I mean, mm -hmm. her her payments. I mean, she had mat leave, but she wasn't enough as full time uh, nurse, right? Mm -hmm. So they were not. They were 
really scraping by, and so they needed that money, the rent, and they uh, they basically came wow. one day where they said, "Do you want it? Would you like to come upstairs?" I still remember that. Mm-hmm. I said, uh, "Sure," and you know, you know, come upstairs, have dinner, right? So they made me a nice dinner, and I came up, and they said, "Okay, like we need to talk to you. Like, if you don't get your income within the next mm-hmm. oh two weeks," and I made, "Oh my God, I'm sorry. Like you're gonna, we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to move." Yeah. And I thought, oh, so I went to the, like, I, you know, my doctor, like a phone, and I, I, and I said, like, have you heard anything back? No. So uh, I phoned the government and I said, if you don't do something within like less than two weeks, I'm going to have no place to live. Mm-hmm. So you got to keep following up with them. Oh, yeah, I did. I had to keep doing that. Yeah. And I, I said, I said, like, um, who's, who's the one is in charge here? Who's yeah. the, who's the recipient? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I learned pretty quick uh, on how that works. And, yeah, it's but, not easy. You know, it's not and just easy. going forward in life, uh, hmm. right? It's um, the structure. It's, uh, structure gives you. Yeah, they set you up for yourself, and you yeah. know. Well, I wanted to follow up on something you said earlier, uh, just a moment ago, uh, Brace, and that was hmm. uh, when you when you said the word passion, mm-hmm. because so much of advocacy is following that passion, right? Where you know, we, we all have things we're really passionate about and like we can't all advocate for a thousand things, no, no, right? Save the world, so, so, so you tend to focus on one, like, yeah. you know, I, I'm kind of known as the clawback guy <laughs> and Brent has always been known as the 375 guy and now it's now it's uh, 500, <laughs> the 500 guy, right? 500 guy, some people get it. So don't um, get it. You know, <laughs> and, and, and yeah. we, we all kind of have our specialties, but it's yeah. all about that passion, right? And so, like when Brent came Common to me, yeah. like it's mm-hmm. been like a year and a half or, or so, <laughs> like when you came to me in, uh, it was uh, December of 2021 or whatever it was, yeah. Yeah, that's right. um, you know, I could tell like, here's here's a guy that's really, really passionate. I mean, I, I didn't really know you from a hole in the wall, like to be mm-hmm. honest, yeah. but yeah. I've, I've been following Brent for a while and I thought, well, here's a guy I can tell he's passionate. I'm gonna ride his coattails, and we're gonna we're gonna have fun, yeah. fun with this, and that's, that's yeah. and that's what we, we've yeah. done, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and sometimes sometimes you just have to let it ride. You have to say, mm-hmm. well, you know, I yeah. I don't know it, but I, I trust this person's passion, yeah. so let's go with it, right? Yeah, that's how it starts. That's a like, yeah. That's yeah. how you build up um, your you reputation, build, the yeah. trust. The yeah, and you build your networks from that point on too, mm-hmm. and you build up a lot yes. more. Out- advocates come together mm-hmm. i mean there's i mean there's different advocates that um you come across on, on the way and they all have different viewpoints on on what they want to see this and that and yes. at the end of the day i mean it's people just want to see other people happy yep. right and mm-hmm. it's just and that's what it is it's about mm-hmm. making people happy of having and making sure and you people have a care for it too you have to have a care when you when you walk yeah. into situations like that you gotta you gotta care and you gotta love it and you gotta be mm-hmm. persistent yeah. there's all those things you yeah. gotta believe in you gotta believe in, in what you're on yourself too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. I was just gonna say you must read my mind. Right? You know, and and there's always gonna better. there's always gonna be those people that say you know you're not advocating enough in this no. way or this way or this. But for me, as 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 the producer of your show, Brent, of the podcast, like yes. I was very like I I knew what the vision was like. Yeah. The, the vision behind the podcast is is just basically just sharing stories of lived yeah. experience and sharing stories of advocacy and who cares if you're advocating 30% here and 30% on this thing and th- whatever it is like who who cares it's not about like you're no. de- yeah. you're devoting too much time here or de- devoting too much time oh. here it's about just getting the stories out there and <laughs> and I think it's important that you've got the politicians involved because they're listening and mm-hmm. uh, like some people will say like why are you getting involved with the politicians <laughs> but I, I think yeah, that, yeah. I, I think that's I think yeah. that's important right because it is. It, it, because it's totally important because, because how else like, are you, how else are you going to move the needle right mm-hmm. yeah. you need them yeah. too you need them it's you so need the support having um, like a non nonpartisan like it's like having it's like uh, I've had um, Mike Maurice joining us on the show many times now, um, and you know from the Green Party. You know I've had um, I've had the um, BC United Party. Um, yeah, I've had, yeah. um, had Dan Davies joining on. I've had mm-hmm. um, um, Leona uh, Lawson. 
Um, mm -hmm. She was the candidate for Langford, and she's from the BC United Party. Elena. Elena Lawson. Uh, Elena, sorry, Elena, yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry, Elena. Sorry if I pronounced <laughs> your name wrong. Um, but you know, I, I've had I've had her joining on here too. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, she may run again. She may not uh, in the next election, uh, BC election, whenever that may be. Who knows? I mean, yeah. things can change so quickly. It's like having a, a thunderstorm, and they're not having a thunderstorm. Mm. You know, yeah, and, so and, and, and of course, uh, you know, the and yeah. the uh, NDP have had uh, Sheila Malcolmson joining on uh, here. I've had yeah, I met her. Well, not now that I mean you've been in uh, Victoria for a while, though, Brent. I think you should run. I'll be I'll be your campaign manager. <laughs> you know that you know that actually uh, you know actually that I was actually asked that uh, by a reporter. I'm not going to say which reporter, but um, it was a reporter that actually said to me one time and joking around and said to me, "Well, uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll be there 100 percent to support you." And I'll cover the story. I'm, I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it's uh, it's crossed mm -hmm. my mind. Um, and I'll, I'll be honest, it's crossed my mind about it. I mean, uh, why? I mean, why not? Right? I mean, advocate for what you believe in. Um, I would. Right? I would. I would do it if I didn't have to hop on a ferry and. It'd be, all... it'd be like a champion for disabilities. See, yeah, if you don't have yeah. enough of those out there, right? We need. Yeah. Recognize well, 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 there was there was a champion one time, Neil. Yeah, there, but, there and, was... but you don't you don't have any you don't have any medal sprint, so you can't say, "Hey, no. look at my medals." Yeah, I got yeah. some special Olympics, right? See, yeah. Look, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at me! Look at me! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, I, I still have to get that forty-five dollar year bus pass. Yeah, <laughs> it's not fifty-two now. It's fifty-two. No, I know it's not. Oh, it's yeah. crazy! Yeah, pink yeah. unicorn. It. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. You, has anybody? So you want you know about our website? Do you want a bit of more of that? Or yeah. That, I, what what I what I will do is um, is once this video is posted, I'll okay. have I'll put a link in the description okay. of your. It's not there right now, but I will add that. Mm -hmm. um, but you can actually just uh, you can say your link right now if yeah. you want. Yeah. Just some. Uh, uh, what we're, what we're, why is this website there for? Is to help self-advocacy groups local it's to help um entrepreneurs if they want to ha have their own business and they want to uh showcase it we also do is um stories so we pay a hundred hundred dollars for anybody like a self-advocate um they anything they like to do employment and like recipes um some sporting events they've gone to uh like things they've done and then we did a thing on the segment about covid Mm -hmm. And how did they? How did they come? Uh, how they came around that? How they survived it? Mm -hmm. so it's basically is it's to put it out there so that people understood where we're coming from. It's to get, and it's from taking it from reverse. All it's like you, when you try to search for something and you have a disability, you don't know what the website is. You're right. And yeah. So, uh, so uh, and then when when the teacher would say. Uh, yeah. Or when yeah. you'd say, I don't know how to spell something, and then the teacher would say, well, look it up in the dictionary. And you're like, yeah, well, yeah, I don't right. know how to spell it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so this, Maybe the dictionary will teach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the website's been around, like, not, it's going to be, like, 23 years now. Mm. Oh, wow. The six That's awesome. Versions, and we want, we want a public value, a transformation website from uh, Reboot BC back in the day, when mm -hmm. with the government, if you remember that. We, mm -hmm. um, so we yeah, it's going back in the chain. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it was all the tech stuff was, like, big honchos. And, do you ever and, do you ever uh, join forces with uh, th uh, ones like Disability Alliance and things like that? Yes, yeah, we talk okay. to them. Like we we get their stuff. We get all kinds of different areas. Anything what a self advocate needs and wants and wishes. Because and, I I know this is a touchy subject. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but like I've always wondered um, what it will take to kind of get a class action or to get more like unity yeah. between and I know it's a really touchy thing because yeah. like nobody wants yeah. to nobody mm -hmm. wants to blow it up right you know you no, know what I mean right. like there's lots of moving parts and something like that mm -hmm. but I've always kind of wondered because like I've reached out to as an example I've reached out to uh, disability at uh, the um, disability alliance a few times yeah. and and mm -hmm. they actually do have like a for example, and I mean you—you you would know this. You would have known mm -hmm. this, Bryce. They do have a, a legal, legal aid department, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they do. So yeah, and it, taxes there too. Yeah, yeah, and and so you know they they kind of entertain the idea of you know I because I let them know about my clawback issue. Yeah. And, mm. and and they were they were helpful as much as they could be, but I, yeah. I kind of wonder like how far that can be pushed a little bit of like, yeah. you know, how far will it take for more unity of groups to say, you know what, I think, I think well, there's a thing here where we so, can really push something. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, um, I think the idea we I think the idea is when you um, talk like they have boards there, like mm -hmm. so the person. Uh, can go in there and if they want a position and, and they can go on there they can do um, how they feel and then how they like to, to pre present themselves and then mm -hmm. they can um, they can see what they do kind of stuff so it kind of like it it's like reaching outside the box but it's bringing people who they're trying to reach to mm -hmm. oh, okay so so it's kind of like coming together so at a, at a um, common cause yeah so you, you just you keep talking to them and then and then, and then eventually they'll come around and then but it takes it takes a while but it but eventually it gets there it's just there's lots of boards like that they're always looking for mm -hmm. like volunteers clbc is looking for one um inclusion vc they're they're always looking for self-advocates to join boards like that so what what it gives the person the experience of what's happening inside of an agency yeah well, well you know like and again, yeah. you probably know yeah. this as well as like yeah. the uh, Disability Foundation, the Sam Sullivan Disability mm -hmm. Foundation. Yeah. In a lot of yeah. ways, it was um, we were are they an agency that reaches out to other advocacy yeah. groups. Like yeah. it's kind of like like Similar. the tentacles yeah. that reach out to others, yeah. right? Like we're, we didn't we didn't try to be, you know, we're we're not trying to be the the end all and be all. No, we're, we're, no, we actually no. had all the tenant calls out and we're like pulling people in yeah, and, yeah, bring it, in. and bring everybody in right everybody's like yeah. tenant calling out so that's kind of what I, what I why I asked the question of like how yeah. much yeah. how much do you cross pollinate with other because I, yeah. I, I think I think there'd be some really interesting uh, opportunities there to cross pollinate and yeah you know but you have to be careful at the same time you though. do you do because yeah. there could be some issues like something conflict of interest you yeah. have to, mm. you have to not get to that point because it makes say they have a an issue against that service and you're not happy and and you're oh. actually and you're actually helping them in the inside of it right and yeah so you have to be kind of careful like yeah how you work it but most of the time they're pretty good about with us they get they mm. they but you just have to keep keep working with them, and then not let, don't let your guard down because sometimes right. things get it, lost. It, it's almost like you got to stay almost not not really neutral, mm -hmm. but yeah, you, right. just just yeah. monitoring. It's basically mm -hmm. yeah because there could be all kinds of things, right? Intertwine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. always you have to yeah. Then you have to subject what's really important for that time and what's important on another. Yeah. And it's like when you do it in self, obviously. It, and you have just built struggles because you need you need mm -hmm. other people around you to help to help you get to that goal of by, by working with people so that, that makes life more better for everybody not just i think just it's important way. like when you when you have an idea that you're going to yeah. reach out just like yeah. to have a really clear vision of this is what i want to yeah. do exactly this all your and, facts. and it and if it if it deviate, passion, if, yeah. if you find that it's deviating a little bit then you can <laughs> Pull back and say, "Well, no, that's mm -hmm. not quite the fit that I want." Yeah, right. Yeah, not just kind of with it. Re, yeah. re look at the scenario mm -hmm. because it's like there's uh, there's some of the uh, advocacy groups out there. I know one in particular that, of course, they you know, and I'm you know, this is mm -hmm. nothing nothing toward know. them. <laughs> and I think I know which one you're probably thinking. I'm going to say, you know, DWP, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, great. Like, I mean, they're the narrative, what what they're pushing for, um, of course, they've been criticized why they're not promoting mm -hmm. DERB. Like, why mm -hmm. are they not? And yeah. so, I know what you mean? It's like it's like a person that stays the course. Okay, we're pushing for yeah. DERB. Now, are they at the, Are they going to push for DERB? If not, then everybody else pushes for DERB. Yeah. They're they're working on what they're doing, and yeah, maybe maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't uh, push know, for DERB. I know another group though that I have like five hats on. You know, there's a British Columbia Self Advocacy Leadership Network mm -hmm. Society. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, Michael McCollin, if you know him, mm -hmm. he, he, run, yeah, he runs that group. And with that, just we just 
we came to be an society like two years ago what 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 happened there we we got you know the visitors policy mm. when you got in hospital that COVID time um we were helping out with some of that so now so that we're in a case of somebody who got stuck in there and had disability they weren't allowed to go in but now if it's a family member or they trust or somebody they know they can they could they gone in there and help them because mm. they're just leaving them sitting behind they're not even dealing with them yeah crazy so it so it so we got that through so that was part of the background of when mm. the minister came out adrian dick at that time said we we're allowed to have it yeah so, mm. So it was, we were working. And again, I mean, this is again, uh, why. Success uh, stuff, success oh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then that, we work together. And then you, yeah. And this is why like yeah. uh, organizations such as yourself, so important mm -hmm. because like, like we were saying, not everybody can advocate for themselves. Oh, oh it's hard. Yeah, and it's hard. I mean, like mm -hmm. our, our little podcast or your little podcast, yeah. Brent, I mean, it's, yeah. it's a lot of work, right? But it is. like, it is. like we're willing to put it, we're willing Holy to put in the work. Yeah. You know, because yeah. we realize it's a shitload of work. Not not everybody can do that. But it's not, worth it. Yeah. But not everybody worth, can do that, right? Yeah. So it's it's worth it, though. Yeah, it, it, it is totally worth it. And you know, getting uh, I mean, having people coming on and talking yeah. about their viewpoints about advocacy, like like yourself, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Bryce, and mm -hmm. um, and then so many other people come on and they talk about their lived experience on how yeah. it affects their lives and yeah. what what can we do as as advocates and mm -hmm. and as society as citizens. In Canada and, and in British mm -hmm. Columbia and whatever province you're in, um, what can we there. all do? Even around to, the world too. Yeah. People yeah. first. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever heard come people together. first? Yeah. Come together and we uh, are the world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are. I love that children. song. Yeah. I was actually going through a music list the other day, and I've I heard that too. Song. And I thought, well, I, I haven't, I haven't sung yet today, so I had, I, I had to do that. Use that for your theme song. Change the lyrics of it. There you go. Okay, so you have to get copyright. We are right. the podcast. Yeah, right. yeah, but it could be we done. are the podcast. Do a <laughs> Make a video on it. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You know what we need is to actually get um, you know a lot of different advocacy groups together mm -hmm. in the one segment and getting um, different um, perspectives. Yeah, different perspectives from yep. from uh, from different uh, citizens with disabilities and having a, like a thirty second, twenty second, or thirty second. I know like three of them. Three or four. Yeah. I know there's people first. You heard them. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. a BCSL and them. Inclusion BC's got um, some yeah, groups in there. There's many. Like there, I those are the two four big ones. If yeah. And then you get their suspectives. Then you you could do, and then because each one is different. Yeah. Different things, but what they, but they all come in in the same brackets because every they're in the same boat as everybody else. But it's just when they operate things, it's just works there a little differently but they'll all get there in the end but it's but it's but it's good because you have because what you might not see from you made that decision but they might see something else but what needs to happen so you need yeah. you need a better um different areas to get into but each one is good to have because yeah different viewpoints on on how yeah. to how to achieve to get to that goal yeah. what yeah. they want in the end and it, yeah, yeah that's well, what, that's well what you know, I'm, you know, too. I mean, this is going to seem like I'm I'm getting way off topic, but yeah. not not that's really. Okay. Is we have a kind of running gag about uh, about uh, Michael Bublé, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and and the oh, and the reason the reason why <laughs> yeah. the reason why I, I, I we kind of <laughs> did that <laughs> is because I think it's so important. There, there's not enough no. big movers and shakers of people that have the disabilities that are really willing to advocate or, and put it's themselves income. out there, right? Yeah, <laughs> um, is, is yeah so so if if not enough of those people are, are doing it, like yeah. like I just picked I just picked uh, Michael Bublé as kind of a, a, a you know a little bit of a joke, but in seriousness <laughs> yeah. too, because I, I do know that his you know he's had issues with one of his sons had really yeah. serious health problems, yeah. right? So, yeah. so it came from a genuine, genuine place of why mm -hmm. I picked him. I didn't just pick him out of out of the blue, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know. Um, but I do think, you know, we need somebody with a little bit of. Uh, you know, I always you. want to say skin in the game, but yeah. somebody with some some real pull yeah. to really help push yeah. the needle, right? Like part of the problem we have, part of the problem we have, we face 
you know when we advocate for these things they, some people get scared because ministry might cut them off because yeah we exactly uh, or yeah. or we don't have the income to supply our own organization sometimes mm -hmm. we, we don't and, have the and like a, and, and that that's why like i i know that, that there's not not there's not enough sharing yeah. of between because Resources. because yeah. people are yeah. scared of being uh, cut off to that right yeah there's that trust there's yeah that. yeah everything's about yeah. insurance everything's about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. and it, you know, there's so many uh, disabled people that you know they they are scared about speaking up. They're thinking yes. that the government will shut them down, or they're scared about um, maybe broaden their their disability advocacy um, into like an organization. It's like I mean, I mean, uh, Neil and I were uh, asked many times, uh, even when I used to do the Twitter Space show on oh, there yeah. before we went on to uh, onto you. Like, well, it was always on YouTube anyway. I think but, I remember I mean, when I said. Until we basically yeah, brought right onto <laughs> Zoom, right, and then we broadcast yeah. on there to YouTube. But um, there was there was times where I was asked, "Well, why don't why don't you um, you know make it as a as a registered uh, organization, mm -hmm. like and and get government funding?" And yeah. and, and I said, "Well, mm -hmm. hang on, hang tricky, on, though." Tricky. And I was, it is tricky. you know, I was, and I was kind of looking at it, and I'm, part of me was thinking, "Well, hmm, this could be and and, and that's why." Uh, uh, you know the BC Disability Caucus is another yes. big one, and that's mean. why they don't they don't do yeah. do it either because they're afraid of getting muzzled, right? Yeah, so, yeah, that's exactly right. So they're I'm... they're staying independent as well. But there's but there are um, I think it was at uh, Neil um, from BC Ants was explaining um, mm. there are ways of so that they don't they don't muzzle. You can still get some kind of funding, but I'm I'm still kind of leery with it because it's yeah. like well. If as soon as government says, well, you know, I'll give you a grant. Well, for one it. is why you do, sometimes you don't want it. You want to be independent as possible. Yeah. Because you're more comfortable that you get to really get to say what you really feel like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes yeah. you you we say things, and and you're, if you're with somebody, you got to be careful what you say because they're helping. Yeah. You, you got to yeah. be. You got to. There's a there's a fine line to everything. You have to yeah. give and take, but but we know we know from our facts, we have to have people around us to help us in order yeah. to get what we're trying to tell you is that it's in it yeah weird, right? yeah but, but you got to build the trust before we, the then no yeah. yeah yeah and, and yeah, I've, but, I've been guilty of that myself yeah. like Absolutely. like I I've that. I've sent some mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. angry emails to uh, you know I, I've said that to, to to Shane Simpson you know yeah. he's, oh, he's yeah. been on he's yes. been on a few times and I mean he's, yeah. he, he's been the target he's been of, of, a, of a couple of my nasty emails no, but but you know I've explained to him like it, it's not about I didn't I wasn't directing no. the arrows at you I was directing arrows at the policy but even so even so you still have to be careful yeah. right um, yeah. but but now when I'm advocating I'm really careful to I think it's okay to be uh, opinionated and and yep. and po pointed, as long as oh, you're sticking, facts. as long as you, like exactly right, as long as you're yeah. sticking to the truth, yep. like as long, as long as I'm not embellishing the truth, I'm sticking oh. to the truth and the facts. Then or complaining for something. Then what I'm saying is fair game as far as I'm concerned, because I'm not I'm not I'm not saying anything that's no. not true. No. As soon but as I as soon as I say something that's not true, then you can come up, come at me all you want. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. You know what offended by you know that. You know where this word name self advocate comes from, and you know what it used to be before. It used to be we, we were called mental retardation. Oh uh, yeah. Groups and yeah. All of slang with slang with. Mm -hmm. But some people invalids in society, in society think self advocacy yeah, right. is we're against many things. But we have you have to kind of explain to them. we're not we're not we're not bad people. We're just we're just citizens in our own communities trying to do something good for helping our people to, so they can survive, they can live, they can, all the things what everybody else takes for granted. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, one um, one thing I learned in, in college, yeah. um, there was, I had an instructor mm -hmm. and used to say to me, uh, well, you know, Brent, if, mm -hmm. if you, uh, if you want to see change happen, like you look, you look at it within your inner, in yourself and yeah. you say what do you believe in what do you believe in yeah. and strongly and keep pushing for what you yeah. believe in and would you want others to actually be treated the same way that yeah. you want to be treated and in it always stuck in my yeah. mind um, practice what they preach you that, practice what you preach yeah mm -hmm. and that always stuck in my mind of what she said and she said she goes i stood by that all the way along and then i said it is so true she goes it mm -hmm. is so you know what 
what I'm mm -hmm. what I basically want to tell the listeners and viewers, like watching yeah. this uh, at another yeah. time, is stand up for what you believe in, and exactly what what Neil just mentioned, what you mentioned too, Bryce, is yeah. is that um, yeah, it, it's okay to hold the um, the okay officials to, to account. Too. Yeah. yeah, it's okay to hold them to yeah. account as long yeah. as you, you have the factual information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not. You're not. Um, I mean, it's all policy. Mm -hmm. it, it, a lot of this is all policy yeah. stuff too. So if you want to see that policy change, yeah. just to say to them, I want policy change. Like you're just affecting my life. You, not everything. Yeah. Just don't let them go out of the picture. You just. You just. You just mm -hmm. keep talking to them. It's like. It's like. Yeah. You know, I'm still yeah. I'm right here. It's like don't miss yeah. me. Yeah. 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 And then. Yeah. Then you always gotta. But it's yeah. hard, right? Because you, you do you get drained. Be you gotta be professional. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Be professional. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta. Uh, there's. Everything's a fine line, and. But you do get drained because yeah. I've I've oh, sent. God, yeah. I've yeah. sent yeah. probably like forty emails about oh, you know over yeah. over the last ten years. It's been at least forty emails. I mean that's that's tiring because it's like well here's another email that's not going to get seen you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you it's just it, it's back. it gets to be annoying. It's like okay. Um, where you get the auto replies, but, but yeah. we are getting right up to the end yeah. of the or top of the hour, I should say. So um, I don't know if you want to do closing statements. Sure. Yeah. Um, and well, uh, Dan has just popped in, so he's gonna he's gonna think that he killed off the show because we're uh, we're just about oh. wrapping up now. So sorry, Dan. <laughs> we're just about hey, wrapping up though. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Dan. I'll have Brace come on another day. <laughs> sure. You know, that's yeah. easy. But I I have the guests come back on, and um, you know. Yeah. We'll, on um, another day because sure. um, no, I'm, I'm always to more, mm -hmm. more, more of this work the better because self it doesn't get recognized as much as people should really yeah. see what, it, work, it, oh, what works involved in it there's good people in this because it's it's not an easy to tell somebody like this is how we feel and this is this is what's happening mm -hmm. um, a person that has a disability not somebody around you it's telling telling them this is we see this we're hurt by this we want to do something like something good to help these people and to help mm -hmm. ourselves because mm -hmm. there's situations that they don't see and then where your money goes or somebody just hard to get a job and somebody's getting left out somewhere we just want to help to alert people like this this is what you could do but we're not saying you you're the last one to decide it but we just tell you these are what's out here mm -hmm. and you just need to be aware it's all about awareness and teaching and respecting or what we do you have to respect what you do because it's a privilege it's not a totally it right because yeah. this is this is something your heart's into it you're something that you basically learn from other people but it's mm -hmm. kind of like mm -hmm. up by many you know but it's all but it's it's good to get into if you really want to do it mm -hmm. and it's something that you have to have a heart you have to have respect with it Mm -hmm. There's many people that you're trying to help, and it, it takes a while, it takes years mm -hmm. to get to this point. To, it does, yeah, yeah. It, it's um, mm -hmm. it it does. It takes a lot of work. It mm -hmm. takes a lot of energy. Um, yes. but you know what? The rewarding part is seeing results happen. Yes. And in the meantime, of learning uh, from people and getting ideas, um, suggestions. Mm -hmm. And presenting all these ideas and suggestions to yep. the policy makers and saying this is the impact that it's having on on an individual uh, yep. or individuals, um, their their friends, their families, their caregivers, whoever is involved in their lives, yep. and, allies. and yep. but bringing everybody together as different mm. uh, disability organizations, yes. of, like you mentioned, all the different yep. ideas have different approaches, yep. but different this, ways of doing things, and then exactly get there in the end, all of us are in the same common goal. Yep. But yeah, you, we're just but, a different boat along the yeah. way. But, but what you said, what what you said too, uh, Bryce, is really important. Is that you have to be really careful uh, yes. with it too, because you, you know, I, I, I've always told I've always told Brent that yeah. that this podcast, yeah. I always uh, tell Brent it's your baby, right? Yeah. yeah. And and I I don't want to I don't want to screw it up, you know. I so I, I, I'm 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 yeah I'm <laughs> I'm very, you know, I'm very protective of it because it's like yeah. you know I I know it's. You know how how when somebody gives you something like, you know how like uh, this is a stupid example maybe but uh, back in the day like yeah. we used to share rec records back and forth like you oh, know yeah, re yeah. records on the record player the and yeah. like if if a friend gave me a record like I would look after that more than if it was my own record right 
Mm-hmm. Like you'd oh, yeah. be, you'd be more you careful with it because you yeah. know what you know it didn't belong to you, right? It's the That's same right. thing with Brent. Thinking like it, yeah. it's it's more it's more his podcast than it is mine. So I'm really protective, like not to screw it up, right? It's, similar. <laughs> it's, the, same, it's the same kind of thing, right? Website I do too. I'm similar like that. It's my baby. I want to I want to yeah. make it work. If yeah, I do yeah. this kind of stuff. I want to make people see it. Like yeah. this is not just my my stuff. This is mm-hmm. everybody else. Like yeah. But this is sharing. I'm sharing a lot of things, like, yeah. And then, especially with Asperger's, it's it's a common thing. Was like everybody's in tech, technology with the, with it. It's like really, he, Bill Gates is one of them. But that's kind of where you expire, because mm-hmm. he had disability, has Asperger's, and so you, so yeah. some of it, you, you, um, I'm inspired by just getting onto stuff like that. But although he had his difficulties, people accused him of different mm-hmm. things, and you know all that stuff, labels, and but mm-hmm. look at him. He's proved one thing. He's fought off a lot of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To get what he's yeah. got. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, one thing, one thing I've learned, um, you know, with with advocacy along the way, yeah. is I can't make everybody happy no. on different yeah, that's ways. One of thing too, yeah. After um, yeah. I can bring on um, people with lived experience. Yeah. Uh, it's regarding uh, transportation. Um, mm-hmm. I've had. Uh, Eric uh, Doherty on uh, here about transportation um, yeah, about accessibility. Yeah. He's awesome, man. I'm gonna have him come on again uh, mm-hmm. soon. Um, you know, and just different people with uh, about accessibility. Yeah. And you name it. It's I a mean, big one. Uh, it's a big one. And, always. And all the uh, all the above, right? And, yeah. and I always encourage anyone who mm-hmm. is watching or listening um, to this, if you want to come on and talk about your your lived experience on, or anyone that you know has a um, has a mm-hmm. disability uh, or has an impact on government decisions uh, that affect your life or people that you know yeah. your loved ones but uh, please like come on let's talk and um because mm-hmm. it's um uh, it's networking it's it's all about networking everyone it's um holding the um the policy makers to account and we we'll, you know in a, in a civil way where in you way. you want to have results so you, you command respect you're going to get mm-hmm. results um hopefully in, in return mm-hmm. that's, that's what we all hope for and we want to achieve the best we can in life, and um, in the ones that um, don't feel that they can, that their voice is not being heard, um, and, and that's okay. Like, yeah. is that okay if you don't feel that you can come forward? Show emotions too. I'm yeah. pretty, I'm pretty sure if uh, Sheila Malcolmson came on and we were we just uh, yelled at her yeah. the whole time, I'm pretty sure she would <laughs> want to come on again, right? No, she would. She'd say, "Well, thanks." <laughs> I, you know, it's just. Place, uh, so it, it's yeah. really important to be, you know, be respectful yeah. Yeah. and uh, just have those yeah. conversations, right? And realize, you know, we're we're gonna come together and have a conversation. Yeah, yeah. because uh, there's, I mean, um, you know, on social media, I, I see a lot of people hurting, and um, I do too. And then you know, they they say, "Is there anyone out there? You know, can you hear me?" Mm-hmm. And like I I always say, like um, if you want to come on the show, like. Um, you don't feel like just typing. You want to come out and just just talk. I mean, that's what we're here for. Yep. We're we're here um, mm-hmm. to hear about your stories and and don't, and don't worry. Like your your stories are your stories, not my stories. They're, they're your stories, and I want to hear. And I mean, you, you know, now now we have we have the visual with YouTube, but yep. like you know, our, our last uh, guest, Leona, she she wasn't mm-hmm. on camera just because it wasn't possible because of uh, technical issues. But there, there are situations where maybe somebody doesn't want to be, is not comfortable being on camera, sure but, but can, they can still share their story, uh, mm-hmm. you know, turn off the, mm-hmm. turn off the camera, but still broadcast yeah. the audio. Uh, yeah. and that's and fine. That camera shy. Some people are yeah, camera shy. That's fine too. Be camera shy yeah, many years ago. No, 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 no. Then yeah. I used to have the media all pointing, yeah. pointing all these cameras at me, microphones all lined up. Imagine that everyone sitting sitting in a, in a legislature in a room, and having a finance minister sitting there at the end of the table, and you got all these uh, these uh, cameras pointing at you, microphones. Oh yeah. Every single news okay. station there is, yeah. TV station, radio station, you name it. I mean, <laughs> and mm-hmm. I'm on live. I'm going. Uh, am I on live? Yeah. You go ahead, Brent. You kind of go like. You want to. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, oh, you know. So what's yeah. the first thing you said, Brent? Show me the money. <laughs> Show me the money. Come on. Show me the money. And help like, well, me I'll, help you. I'll point. I'll point one out. Just maybe for the last one. So sure. anybody has a disability has it wants to be a self advocate. You you got to go into groups to understand what what the issue. 
because many people walk in there, they don't, they just come in there, think they're just self advocate, but they got to know, they got to know all their issues, got to know some facts. You got, you want to, you want to be trained because you just don't go up to up to anybody thinking that this is an easy thing to mm -hmm. do. And it's not, it, mm -hmm. it's not, it's a lot of work you have to put into it if you want to do it. Mm -hmm. That's because no, nobody would understood until you, you, you lived with it and you done yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, and, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's all, you know, Bryce, you're totally hundred, uh, 300%, 500% right on that. Uh, you know, I can't even, the percentage yeah. don't even go that high because it's, uh, it's unlimited. Uh, a million percent. Uh, yeah. A million, there we go. A million dollars. <laughs> if I <laughs> had a million, million dollars. Well, we all, that would help you. That would help you. That would help you. That would help you. Right? That would help. Yeah, I'd be Conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I to totally. Uh, in, you know, the the ones that um, are out there, people um, like I, I see you, I hear you, I, I hear you, and I, you know, I know you're suffering. That's happening, and and all of us advocates, we're we're all coming together. We're doing what we can do um, to try to make change happen yeah. and, and the better for everybody. Um, I you know we're doing all the doing the best we can to yeah. try to make change happen. Um, I know that people are hurting uh, about derb, like they want derb. Yes, yeah, and we're gonna. There's two petitions, and we're close. Now. It's close yeah. to yes. five thousand, so we can, yeah. we can push well, it over. Is it twelve months? Is it twelve months? That's what. I've yeah, heard. I think they have until September. Uh, September ten is when. Uh, yes. September ten is when Mike's. Um, and then, yeah. Then and something about the insurance and something about uh, they got to figure out the province, whatever that. Yeah, that was but these, bizarre. These, that was the, these petitions are so important i mean why i mean if they were just an individual doing the petition it probably it, it, it helps but since yeah. they are actually um from mps who actually mm -hmm. endorsed these MPs, petitions, yeah. it mm -hmm. really has a major impact in a good way yeah. um and how i mean it's going to change i mean i'm really hoping that um the uh, prime minister and the opposition um, well, the opposition leader. Um, take it away. <laughs> they actually will will listen to mm -hmm. the these petitions because it really it affects people's lives where yeah. they can um, have uh, a lot of great um, change of their circumstances in life. Like it impacts their decision making, their housing, their and food more security, easier, more payment. Easier. Yeah, and mm -hmm. makes things a lot easier. I mean, I mean not a hundred percent, but it will help in the meantime while mm -hmm. they tiptoe around on the Canada Disability Benefit. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, I'm, the last thing I heard is that it could be 18 months, it could be up to two years. Yeah, I hope not. So, I'm hoping not two years. Uh, mm. So Derb, in the meantime, um, should be there. I mean, Serb, Serb yeah. was out mm. fast, I mean, what, one was, day? And, yeah, oh, $2,000 right there, just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I still remember the uh, the Trudeau mm. show, I mean, way back then. I, oh, the Trudeau show is on, oh, people mm. with disabilities, no, oh, next day, no, Famous. nothing. That medical assisted and dying, you know, ableism, you know, yeah, yeah. Talk of. so, so uh, these are all the issues what's happening. See, when you're in this kind of stuff, you have to be aware of all that kind of stuff. What's, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and you gotta, but you gotta take some time to research. You gotta take, you gotta oh, know yeah. before you commented it, because I've done it. I commented so fast, I'd say, that's not correct. And I had to back out. Oh, that happened to me. That right. happened to me. Oh, was I, I was, uh, Cause I was scared. I was like, really, I went, Mm -hmm. yeah. That happened to me yeah, one time. Race. I, I had I had a guest on, and uh, it was a doctor, and uh, yeah, we were we were talking about it. And that I was said, a that was a good show, though. It was. That was a really good show. Yeah, like I know, I know, she didn't feel good about it, but honestly, it was she really good she should have felt good about it because she was yeah. being honest. Like we weren't yeah. we weren't putting her on the spot, and she was just mm -hmm. being honest about this. This was her experience as a doctor that provided that. And I thought it was I thought it was really really good and 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 she might have felt a little bit uncomfortable but I yeah. I I certainly didn't I thought it was a really good show. Well, I think sometimes guests come on because they don't always know what to expect um, like on the show and then after they get in on then they realize hey this is actually good and um, mm -hmm. you know wow, uh, kind of before we uh, before wow. we had the segment today uh, there was also another uh, celebrity we had on Neil. Uh, we had uh, Brie Taylor, remember mm -hmm. Brie Taylor? Mm -hmm. She's um, and she's actually deaf in, in one ear. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it goes to show that uh, having celebrities on, mm -hmm. um, it really has an impact too. Because I mean, that was lived mm -hmm. experience. She 
she shared um, maybe her, she can uh, come on Eric. with Ubley. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I just try and go through uh, Eric um, help her on get her get her back on again. Yeah, that would yeah. be awesome. To talk about her new uh, new album coming out. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. sung that one little tune. Remember? She's yeah. Like, no, that's good. I yeah. played the tune. I could hear this yeah. kind of like really quietly, like. Mm. So, if, can I suggest next maybe if you, sure. if I ask them, um, BC SLN, I can ask if they, we, uh, for a guest because it, it, yeah. they similar like. Mm-hmm. They, and then I can get. Um, I'll just get that one, and they're very good at talking. And mm-hmm. that'll be great. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And you know, I'll send you along, and then because I kind of told them about this, so and I, I was. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Get them all lined up. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I do, I do want to get, do uh, I do want to get BCNs on as well. Yeah. Still. When you get, a, yeah. when you get all the groups on, mm-hmm. get all in there, and then, then we can. Yeah. When, when yeah. you do that segment, but I'll, I'll, I'll remind them, and then you have. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you can come on with them too if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do yeah, a round sure. table. Yeah. We'll have we'll have yeah. a, we'll have a big uh, big the, uh, big gathering. The party. nights the nights at the round table. Yeah, Unity <laughs> Unity SM Yama host. They're they're part of that group. There's two in there. Um, if you know them, they're Sam Yama House is out of Surrey, and mm-hmm. it it runs out of with them. Mm-hmm. So so I I'll get you all them once. Okay. But anyway, it's after three. But I guess okay. I'm, yeah, we should wrap up. We're <laughs> we're always very bad with our. We have these. We have these. We have these, we have these long goodbyes. It's yeah, like no. you know. You know. I, 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 once you get to know somebody, yeah. Yeah, it's like. It's like you, you're watching these romantic movies with those long goodbyes, and you think, well, yeah. do I need the Kleenex it's box, like you know? And then they say, oh, they, uh, they remind me of a last Oh, Bryce, night. we're going to miss you. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, Bryce, it was nice. Bryce and Neil, like, we, uh, I was at the um, at an AGM last night, and um, <laughs> one of the MPs, she was, she was nominated in, and um, she wants to come on the show, um, yeah. so it's going to be great. And it was funny, she says, I gotta. She says, "I've done enough talking now. I'm, I'm gonna go because I think I've taken up everybody's time." And I, Sheila was sitting right beside me, and I kind of looked at her. I said, "I said," and I, and I gave a little speech myself, and I made kind of a crack a couple of jokes, like I said earlier in the podcast. And then she says, "Oh, you did well, Brent. You did well." And I said, "Well, Neil keeps me in line, you know." I said, "Well, well you do well on your podcast. And, you know, it's great." And but she said, "You're such a good speaker." I go, "Well, so so is uh, you know." Lisa Marie Baron, she goes, yeah. oh, and uh, but yeah, she talked a little bit longer, which was good though. I, yeah. I thought it was so informative because That's they good. they're going to keep fighting. They're going to keep fighting and holding the government account. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, everybody, for yeah. any upcoming announcements. Um, I want to thank uh, Bryce for coming on today. Bryce, uh, it's been an awesome segment today. Um, we're going to do this again very soon. Yeah. Yeah, and bring in um, all the other guests uh, too. Yeah. Um, you guys got any comments? Just if you guys have any comments about the website or any if you want information about me, mm-hmm. just send it on my email. And you two guys got my email. Yes. Yeah, no good. So if they have so any you, suggestions? Any, you you uh, want me to include the email in in the yeah, video? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's sure, fine. sure, sure. I'll do that. And then yeah. Okay. So they want information. Uh, you have to look uh, look on the uh, the advertising yeah. for this uh, segment, and you're yeah. going to see the links for uh, Bryce's you know. website, yeah. uh, contact information, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, sign up for the uh, up to date uh, well, shows. Yeah. Uh, Neil's yeah. website, uh, yeah, DaddyBentLakes.com. And if you want to yeah. come on the show, go to the media go to the media page. Yeah. And even if you don't want to come on the show, if you have a good a good idea for a show, you can just type something in and send it off. It goes right to me. Yeah. If there's a music celebrity or some celebrity that you would love to have on our show uh, that you think uh, would be great, mm-hmm. hey, um, mm-hmm. throw the ideas out because you, you never know, right? I yeah, mean, you never know. There's lots out there. Just yeah. is, uh, <laughs> in, the, the options are endless, uh, yeah. you know. And so, uh, and if Michael Bublé doesn't come on, I can just sing instead. Ooh. Well, there we go. <laughs> well, 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 Probably have had to put a mask on. Right. Yeah. We'll have Tom come on play his guitar. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, right on. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in today. Thanks, everyone. Uh, it's been awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye. See you, guys.